Hello, and welcome to Mass Communication 310, Publication Layout and Design. My name is Danielle Devers, and I'm an Assistant Professor of Multimedia Journalism here at the University of Montevallo. I have been teaching at Montevallo for two years now after completing my doctorate at the University of Alabama. Prior to going into teaching, I worked as a broadcast journalist for over 15 years in local television news and then transitioned uh, uh, for about five years into nonprofit PR, working with companies like the American Heart Association, the American Red Cross, and UAB Medicine. I'm also a wife and a mother to a seven-year-old daughter, Skylar. We are a big Disney family, so you'll probably hear me nerd out a couple of times during the semester about Disney, Star Wars, even Harry Potter. Uh, I'm just a big nerd and, and so embrace it, love it, or at least deal with it during lectures. Now, this course is being offered online asynchronous. This means that we will never meet at a specific time or date. Uh, instead, you will be watching lectures through YouTube uh, services and using the modules in Canvas in order to follow deadlines and learn your lesson. Uh, now, make sure that you sign up for announcements in Canvas. You want to um, make sure that you are getting any messages that I might receive about changes to the course, updates on grades, and things like that. If you are in your Canvas course, you can do that right here. Um, make sure that you have this setting turned on. Now here is the Canvas course for 310. You'll see your first module is semester long resources. Here you can find your syllabus, make an appointment with me through Calendly. This will be the link to our class YouTube channel where you can find all of the lectures all in one place. You also have extra credit opportunities throughout the semester and professionalism points, which we'll discuss here in a second. You also have access to the Canva website and we will be discussing Canva as a requirement for the course here in a minute. Now, each week you will have a module uh, with the dates of the week listed. I want you to go in order of these assignments. So first you would listen to the lecture, which you're doing now, congrats. And then you'll go through the next lecture on layout and design. Then you'll do your discussion post, you'll do your homework assignment, and then do reading prior to next week. Then once you complete that module, you can either wait until week two, or you can go ahead and get a jump start. That's fine. Uh, so your week two will include lectures on branding, a discussion post, reading, et cetera. So that's kind of how you use Canvas in combination with these lecture courses. Now, again, you. Uh, in an online asynchronous class, you want to make sure that you are following deadlines, watching out uh, for different things, make sure you know Canvas really well by signing up for announcements. Know what each of these symbols mean in uh, Canvas as well. For example, the paperclip means that this is a file. It's a document that you need to read. All of your textbook readings are in files. Um, if there's a link to an outside resource, such as your lecture video, videos on YouTube or to Calendly to make an, a, 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 excuse me, to make an appointment with me. Um, and then this uh, paper and pencil is an assignment. Just make sure you're going in order through the modules. You want to start at the top and then work your way down through the bottom. So again, with an online asynchronous class, because you are working at your own pace, uh, it gives you great flexibility. It gives you great power to be able to control your learning experience. But just as with Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility, meaning you need to keep up with your deadlines and your assignments because I will not be in a classroom to remind you. So make sure that you are following along and taking the responsibility with this flexible learning environment. So not only should you be flexible with me, but I am going to ask you to be uh, flexible uh, with me because this is the first time that I am teaching this course 310 and I'm having to teach it online asynchronous. So um, please know that there might be one or two things that are off uh, throughout the semester. If that happens, please just uh, shoot me an email. Let me know. Um, I'm always happy to change things, fix things, update things. And I will regularly ask for feedback from you on how the course is going so that I can know how to build this course uh, better in the future. 
uh, as you provide me that grace, I will also be working to provide you with a little grace, obviously with uh, things that are going on in current events, we have to be extra cautious, be aware of what's going on. So if you get sick, if you have a major uh, life event, please make sure that you're reaching out to me while I'm very strict with deadlines because we are a deadline driven industry. I am also a human being and want to help you out if you run across something. So please keep open lines of communication uh, with me and just know that I'm here to give you grace, to give you guidance. Um, and be with you no matter what uh, this semester holds, which hopefully will be all good things. Now, in terms of what's required for this course, you do need an AP Stylebook 2020-2022 edition. You should already have this book uh, from previous classes as it's required for most mass communication classes. Uh, but if you don't have this book, make sure you get one because any of the writing that you do will need to be in AP style. Now, I do recommend that you get the graphic design for everyone, understand the building blocks so you can do it yourself by Caldwell. Um, however, this is only a recommended book because there are many readings that I will post throughout the semester, but they're all in Canvas. Uh, the only thing is they are scans. And so if you learn better, you know, with a real book in front of you, this Caldwell book is only about $15. Um, so you use your own discretion to know whether the PDFs will be good enough for you or whether you actually need a textbook. Now, in addition um, to your textbooks, uh, which, you know, you're not really required to have um, the textbook, it's only recommended, I do need you to purchase a Canva Pro subscription subscription. It's about $13 a month or $120 a year. I figure this is about the cost of most regular textbooks. And so that's why I have uh, requested that you get Canva Pro. Because we're doing layout and design, it's really important that we have good digital software that is user-friendly and you can um, really practice your craft uh, during the class. So that's why I ask you to purchase this. Um, in addition, you will need an Adobe uh, subscription to learn InDesign and Illustrator. Now, all UM computers have Adobe on it, but if you are not on campus or you don't have access to a Montevallo computer, you can also uh, download the software. It is at cost for Adobe, but remember they do have a student discount. And I highly recommend that if you are a multimedia content creator, you go ahead and you get the Adobe Cloud subscription because you'll be using it in all of your classes. Now, you also need access to a camera. You can use your smartphone camera. That's totally fine with me. Most of the phone cameras are uh, good enough now that uh, they produce high quality photos. Uh, if not, you will need a DSLR. Uh, you can check out DSLR uh, still cameras uh, and even smartphones through the UM equipment checkout. So know that that is placed in the semester long resources for you and you do have access to those. I will also ask for your first week that you register for professional accounts for YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn. We will be practicing some social media uh, layout and design. And so I need to make sure that you have those available to you. In addition, you're going to want to show off your great work that you produce throughout the semester. And you should have professional accounts anyway, so that when you graduate and you're applying for work as a multimedia content creator, that you can show off your work through your professional channels. Now, in terms of how this class is structured, you will see in your syllabus that your class is worth a thousand points total. How we break down those points, you have a hundred points for professionalism, which is making sure that you attend and watch, watch lectures, that you're participating in discussion boards, uh, your email communication is professional, and just overall your demeanor and and uh, activity in the class is professional. Within a multimedia content industry, it's very important that you remain professional uh, because that is part of being prepared for a job and a career after graduation. And so that is why I place professionalism points as such a high standard. In addition, you'll have about 50 points of homework assignments. These are assignments that don't necessarily relate to our lecture each week, but that uh, they 
have some point value to uh, reward you for actually doing the activity. Uh, please know that you will need to attend an MC day uh, on Wednesday, February 23rd. So if you are remote, make sure that you are going to be uh, coming to campus on Wednesday, February 23rd for MC day. You will have an assignment worth 40 points um, uh, related to MC day. Now, in terms of discussion posts, you will have uh, 15 discussion posts over our 16 week semester. They are worth 15 points each for a total of 225 points. The original post will be due every Friday unless otherwise noted. And then you need to reply to two peers by Sunday of each week. Now you can of course post before that, but I provide you that two day buffer so that in case, uh, you know, you are one of the people who are trying to post on a Monday and there's no one else to reply to, you know that there will be replies by Saturday and Sunday for you to respond to. Now, these are graded on whether you've met the deadline, the content and quality of your original post, and then the content and quality of your replies. We will also have seven projects, design and layout projects for various mediums over the course of the semester. These are worth 75 points each for 525 total points. Uh, this makes up the bulk of your point structure here in this class. And that's because when you're doing uh, publication layout and design, it's really important that you actually know how to do it. So those projects are weighted a lot stronger. Now your midterm exam will be Friday, February 25th. You will have all day to do it, uh, but I wanted to give you that date right at the beginning of the semester so you can make sure to clear your calendar. Uh, it is worth a hundred points. It will be uh, roughly an hour to an hour and a half. It will be online on Canvas. You will not need proctoring software. You will be able to use books and notes, uh, but just know that that is the date for the midterm exam and it cannot be moved. Now, in terms of professionalism points, make sure that you have good attendance, you're prepared and participating in class discussions, you complete your homework, and all of your in-person and digital communication is professional. Now, in terms of writing emails professionally, make sure you check out your syllabus email policy, which gives you an example of how you should be emailing me as your professor. And by the way, this is really good guidance for any time that you're communicating with a member of faculty. Now, your homework uh, is, again, smaller assignments. Make sure that you come to MC Day on Wednesday, February 23rd, uh, to complete that 40-point uh, analysis. Then, again, we will have discussion posts. These extend our ability to talk since we don't have in-class discussions. We will have digital forums where we can kind of talk through lectures. I really want you to think through your answers and um, don't just write something very quickly or produce a piece very quickly just because of a deadline. I really want you uh, practicing this because this is how you learn the uh, material that we will be going through in lectures. Unless otherwise noted, these original posts will be due Friday, and then the replies are due Sunday, as I said before, and uh, they're really meant to help you analyze uh, and apply to industry the examples of what we're learning. If you uh, miss the deadline, you will get 10 points deducted automatically on your discussion post. And then if you do hit deadline, uh, it will be graded on 10 points for your original post and five points for having two peer replies. Now, again, we will have seven projects uh, dealing with how to use Canva, how to use InDesign or Illustrator with Adobe, uh, mastering print layout, PR newsletters, advertisements, as well as some user experience uh, work, social media posts, and then building your own website for your digital portfolio. So those are the projects that we will be doing throughout the semester. And then again, your midterm exam is on Friday, February 25th, open all day, online, notes allowed, no proctoring software needed, and it will review definitions, concepts, and theories from the first half of our semester so that on the back half of our semester, we can work on those fun projects. Now, again, I know that this is an online asynchronous class, and sometimes that can feel like your uh, faculty member, your professor is not there for you. I want to promise you that I am here for you. I'm pretty good about responding to email very quickly, especially those that follow the email policy that's provided in the syllabus. 
Also, anytime you need to make an appointment with me, whether you want to meet in person or on Zoom, you can do so through Calendly. And that Calendly link is in your semester long resources folder. Uh, you can also contact me on Twitter. You may want to follow hashtag MC310 on Twitter anyway, because I will be uh, retweeting and providing examples on Twitter of things that we are learning um, within the class. But please know that I really love speaking with my students. And so if you're having an issue, don't hesitate to reach out just because this is an online class. I really want you to know that I am here for you and happy to help you learn in whatever way that I can. So what you're going to do next is watch the section second lecture video on why uh, layout and design are important. Then you're going to do discussion one, providing your introductions for the class. This isn't anything difficult, um, but it will put you in the routine of how you do discussion posts, then make sure you do your homework, which is to sign up for a Canva Pro membership, and then sign, make sure that you have registered for social media professional channels on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Linktree. If you've already created these for a previous class, feel free to use those. Just make sure it's not your personal account, that it's your professionally branded account. And there are some guidelines provided in your homework assignment if you have not done that yet. There are two readings for week two, so make sure you read those prior to starting the week two module. Otherwise, I will see you in our second video.